So again, as I was saying, I, want, I have a question for you guys. And the question is, who is a leader and why? why? Who do you guys consider leaders? Most of the time when you look around and you look at who people consider leaders like Barack Obama, like uh, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, they, there's a specific reason we consider these people leaders, right? I haven't asked the question yet, so I don't know why there's hands up. I haven't asked anything. There's a, there's a specific reason why we view people as leaders. So my question to you guys is, what attributes, what, what are different things that make somebody a leader? Right, because we can't just put people on this pedestal, we can't just look at people as if they're leaders, everybody isn't somebody that we need to follow. Right, so the first thing I want you guys to realize is, if you're a leader, that means people follow you. Why would somebody wanna follow you? Right, because there's some people, if you follow them, I promise you they'll lead you right to jail. If you follow them, I promise you they'll lead you right to death, destruction, all the things that you don't actually want. But what makes a good leader is somebody that can help you achieve your goals. Somebody that can push you and motivate and inspire you. Somebody that has character and integrity and honesty. Those are just some attributes. So I, I need five answers, I need five answers from all around. What makes somebody a good leader? That's the question. I need, I need five different answers. What makes somebody a good leader? Go. Following directions? Following directions makes you, makes you a good leader? Okay, go. Not getting in trouble makes you a good leader? Go ahead, Zion. Make it a difference? Okay, Z. Somebody that does their own thing? I like that. Go ahead, Jackson. God. God? Okay, go ahead, Samaj. Somebody that doesn't follow people? I like that. So now by a show of hands, by a show of hands, who in here thinks that they are a leader? Raise your hand high. Who in here thinks that they are a leader? So none of you guys think that you're a leader? Because I, I, can I can't see any hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if only eight of us, and there's over 40 people here, if only eight of the 40 people here think you're a leader, the question is, why don't you think you're a leader? So if you didn't raise your hand, I want to know, why don't you think you're a leader? That's the question. Who is here? Okay. I, need, I need at least three, because a lot of you guys didn't raise your hand. So if you didn't raise your hand, why don't you think that you're a good leader? Go ahead. Because you follow other people that get you in trouble? I don't think that would make somebody a good leader if they follow other people that get them in trouble, so I think you're right. I want you guys to, to think about that though. Because this advantage program, this is a program, Jordan. They said because of some of the dumb things they do, it makes them look like they're a follower because they're not doing what they don't know they're supposed to do. I like that. So what I want you guys to think about is, A, if you don't feel like you're a leader, what are some things that you can start doing to make yourself a leader? Because believe it or not, everybody's not born to be a leader, but everybody can lead. However, you can lead in the right or you can lead in the wrong way. So I want you guys to think, if you don't think you're a leader, why not? What are some things you can do to start making yourself a leader? One of them is probably stop following and listening to people that don't have your best interests at heart. Right, if you make your own decisions, I think that's what a leader does. A leader doesn't listen or follow what other people think, what other people say. 